Hi, today I wanted to talk about thermals in Autodesk Eagle. And unfortunately, the first time when I recorded this, uh, my microphone was turned off. So I'm going to try to play catch up with the video right now. So forgive me if this is a little disjointed. But here I have outlined a polygon uh, on the board that I would like to fill with um, the VBAT mod trace. So the specs say that this particular trace should be three millimeters thick and I thought it would be cool to try a thermal pour instead of a physical trace. So you can see here that the physical traces are actually uh, quite thin here. I was just making sure that they were connected um, as backup. Uh, so here I am experimenting with the thermal trace. Uh, this was a prototype board and so um, I was willing to like try out a different couple different things. So here I am uh, going going ahead doing the rat's nest so it does a thermal pour. Unfortunately what I did not know at the time was that I needed to put priority on the thermal pours. So uh, just now when I uh, presented the thermal pours and here in the video I'm actually pointing out the reason why thermals are really cool you can see the uh, thermal uh, traces actually on these 0402 capacitors and it makes them easier to solder to the board when you have uh, these traces uh, around more than one edge of the uh, copper pad. So um, I thought I would try them out uh, so that it would be easier for our assembly house to uh, solder these down. So what I didn't know at the time uh, was that I was having conflict between uh, the VBAT mod pour and then also the pour that I had designated for the board uh, which was assigned to be ground. So um, I'm gonna wait here we're actually trying to switch to in the video I'm just trying to switch to the um, to show again the polygon pour. So unfortunately I can't show you the whole board, but I can show you this piece of it. Um, so again, I'm demonstrating that this is the polygon that I designated for this particular pour. Um, so in the properties to make turn thermals on, you wanna make sure that this checkbox is actually turned on. So by default it's turned off. And um, so in, so for example, here I demonstrate that when it's turned off, you don't have the beautiful um, thermal traces to the SMD pads um, as you did before. So uh, I think I'm gonna go back and show you it again one more time with the thermals turned on. Yep, here I go. So let's go ahead and do a rad's nest fill it and now you can see the thermal traces to the SMD pads. So sorry this is a little disjointed but next I'll show you um, what we did in the assembly house afterwards when I realized that these two uh, pores had been combined. So you can see here the polygon area of the thermal pour that I intended, um, but because I did not set the rank uh, on uh, the multiple therm the multiple pores, uh, they actually merged. And we found this out when we got the board, the assemble board back and tried to test the board. So to fix this, uh, we sent the board back to the assembly house and asked them to, pleaded with them to make these cuts and then make these jumpers. So the blue were the cuts and the green were the jumpers uh, for this particular example. And if you have a very, we have a very, very kind assembly house. And so they were happy to do the rework for a nominal fee and uh, we were able to get the board back in the same day. So um, exceptional uh, business partner that we have. So um, they're very excited to see this particular product 
come to market and um, they're really working with us to um, make all these changes. So here's another place in the board that I'd like to show you where I actually had the thermopore attached to some vias. And so I want to show you uh, some requests that we made to our assembly house to try and fix this problem of the two pores combining. So what you can see here is the problem is it is also attached to a trace that is actually within the board. So um, having the ground pour and the um, the USB 5 volt pour merge meant that it contaminated the trace within the board. So we asked to do the, these four cuts and also a jumper um, actually to the USB connector, um, which is what the trace was leading towards anyways, and then asked them to drill out the two vias and we made sure to request that uh, the vias be drilled out over 24 mils so that it completely obliterated the hole and disconnected the um, trace which was within the board, um, which was the original jumper to the USB connector. So you can see here, again, I'm just pointing out um, how that particular thermal pore was connected to the trace inside the board. Um, so anyways, uh, we sent these um, revisions to the assembly house. They kindly made these revisions and um, we were able to move forward with this particular board. So uh, here's how you can actually avoid having to go through all of that and it's by setting the rank. So I believe I show it here. So you just go into the information, the properties of the um, pour that you want should be ranked one, especially if it's uh, in a polygon, or you could change it to rank two for the polygon which is on the outside. So any polygons that you have inside your ground pour, you want to rank them level one, but for the ground pour, you want to make sure that the rank on the ground pour is two. So here I am changing the properties of my ground pour from one to two, and we're going to press OK, and then we're going to go ahead and do a rat's nest to complete the pores. Yay!